Hi, it's Robin from Lindy Well, and in today's video, I'm going to lead you through three Pilates exercises to help improve neck strength and mobility. So if you experience any type of discomfort through your neck and shoulder area, this is for you. The first exercise is a very simple movement and exercise, but it can make a big difference in how you feel throughout the day. These are called chin tucks. It's not a traditional Pilates exercise, but it's very beneficial and it helps us with our alignment and positioning. So you're just gonna sit comfortably. You could do this on your mat. You could do it on a chair. You're gonna take your finger to your chin. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a little push on the chin to tuck the chin down towards the neck, nice and easy, and bring it back up. So we tuck and good. I'm gonna go from the side and I want you to see how actually what is happening here is the skull on the top of the spine is actually kind of going back and up and back down. So it kind of slides back and up on the top of the spine and that movement can be really beneficial to help us get out of forward neck posture, which looks like this. A lot of us hang out here throughout the day, right? Because of typing, because of posture. So we need to bring ourselves, our spine back up into alignment. Make sure you're sitting as tall as you can. Little tuck, you'll feel the stretch along the back of the neck, right where the top of the spine meets the skull. And release. You can do this about 10 times. Nice and gentle, try to relax your jaw. And you can do this as many times throughout the day as feels comfortable. Good, when you're done, you may just do a little subtle, nice and easy looking side to side, nothing too intense, but just to loosen up after doing your chin tucks. The next exercise is a Pilates chest lift. So go ahead and lie yourself down. You're gonna lean onto your side to roll onto your back. And this is for strength. It is gonna help with mobility, but it's also gonna help us to build strength in the neck. So we're gonna take this nice and easy. We're gonna interlace the hands behind the head for a little extra support. Knees are bent, feet are flat on the mat. You actually interlace your hands behind your head. So you have like a little hammock for your head. Bring your elbows into your peripheral vision and slide your shoulders away from your ears. Take an inhale. As you exhale, a slight chin tuck like we just did. Nothing too intense, but just slight. As you curl up, I want you to imagine that you're folding right in the middle of your rib cage. And then lengthen your spine back down using your hands for support on your neck. Inhale. Exhale, slight tuck. Nothing too intense, just a slight tuck of the chin as you curl up and lengthen with control to lower down. So yes, you're gonna work your abs in this exercise. I snuck that in there for you. But you're also going to be working some of that neck strength as you flex up and lengthen back down. As you get more advanced, you could take the hands away from behind the head and bring them in front of you. That's gonna take a little bit more neck strength. But the more you strengthen your core using Pilates, the more you're going to also find that your neck muscles get a little bit of a break because your core can support you. The third exercise is the swan. So we're gonna come onto our tummy. Now what this is going to do is going to help to strengthen the muscles, the extensors of the upper back. These are the muscles that help bring our head into alignment. Therefore, our neck muscles don't have to work so hard during the day, getting sore and tight and tense. So you're gonna gently rest your forehead on the mat. Your hands are directly under your shoulders. Imagine there's an ice cube under your belly button and lift your belly button off of the ice cube so it doesn't melt. That's getting you to engage your core. From here, take a nice big inhale as you lengthen your spine towards the end of your mat and lift just slightly into the upper back. <clears throat> I want you to imagine that you have about an orange or an apple between your chin and your chest and you're sliding your shoulders down your back away from your ears. We're strengthening these muscles right here on the back of the neck and the upper back to release that tension from overworked and overtired neck muscles. The stronger you are in your postural muscles, the less tension you will likely feel in your neck, your jaw, and your shoulders. And lower down. Now remember, this is not just your head lifting, right? So this is just your neck and your head. Those are the muscles that are overworked. What I want you to do here is actually use those upper back muscles, sliding your shoulder blades down into your back pockets, opening up across your collarbone, and lowering back down. You may have a small amount of range of motion here, and that's okay. 
Just know that the more you do it, the stronger you will get. And I'd recommend eight to 10 repetitions here. Let's do one more. And lower back down. Go ahead and bring yourself to a seated position. And just one final exercise, a little bonus for you before you go into your day, is just doing a gentle look side to side and gentle nods down and up. Nothing too intense, just getting that movement. We can often get stiff and stuck here, and the more movement we get, they, they say motion is lotion, the better that we will feel. If you enjoyed these exercises and you found them helpful, I encourage you to return to this video as often as you'd like. And I'd also love to invite you to be, join us in the Lindy Well membership. When you become a member, you get access to an entire library of Pilates workouts that you can do from home. Full workouts that are designed to strengthen your upper back, reduce tension in your neck, your back, your shoulders, and build overall strength just so that you can feel your best. The workouts are available for all levels and there's something for every mood. You also get a monthly workout calendar to help you stay consistent, to make sure you're taking care of your body, nourishing recipes to support you, and so much more. I'd love to see you inside the membership, so go ahead and click the link below, and I'll see you on your mat again soon.